יכולים? שם רעב What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fuzzy Fitness. I'm gonna start this video with this latest clip of Big Romy with William Barnack and Sergio Oliva Jr. interacting with the fans in Italy. Since there has been a lot of pressure on Big Romy, especially after those comments from the head judge Steve Weinberger, that Romy did not look any better at the Arnold Classic compared to the Olympia, and that he should take one year away from stage and comparative bodybuilding. So I thought big Romy fans will be glad to see that Romy is still in high spirits. Angel Calderon is going to bring some heat to the Olympia stage this year. He was able to beat Kamal last year at the Olympia. So obviously he is the next in line to challenge Sean Pilarida for this year's Olympia title. Now that condition at more than five months out of the Olympia is just nuts. I mean, the man has got striations on his chest already. So what does Angel Calderon need to do to dethrone Sean this year? I mean, the guy is clearly wider than Sean. And I'm gonna say he isn't necessarily bigger than Sean. Because pound for pound, Sean packs more muscle than anyone on that 5-2 frame. But there are some shots where Angel can really expose Sean. For example, the front relaxed and the front last spread. Now, the thing that is more important than that is that he needs to come in dry and hard as nails as the champ, especially from the backside. And if he's able to do that, then we are gonna have a match and a dog fight in the 212 division. It will be really interesting to see how Bjorn Ansley fits in this lineup. He clearly isn't as tightly built as some of the other 212 guys. I mean, put his most muscular versus Angel Calderon. And you will notice the huge difference. But Brion can expose a lot of these guys. I'm gonna say except Sean and Kion Pearson. When it comes to having a small waist. And very good overall flow. So as of right now. Angel is looking crazy good. And right on target to fight for that 212 title this year. Remember last year Nick Walker had this amazing confidence and self-belief. That he is gonna win the Olympia. Although it did not happen, but he did move up two spots into that top three, which was great accomplishment. Now going into the Olympia 2023, Samson has that exact same confidence. His offseason started merely three weeks ago, and that back is already looking thick. And that is the one area he has been told by the judges and by everyone else that he needs to bring up. And he himself knows that as well. He mentioned that after winning the Arnold Classic this year. So if he is able to accomplish that, will he be the most complete and the most aesthetic bodybuilder on that stage? Now whether you are a fan of Samson or not, but that is a legit question. Steve Weinberger himself said that he will be surprised if Samson isn't in that top 3 this year. That is a bold statement, but I'm gonna say an expected one. And just imagine where the motivation of Samson would be after listening to this feedback from the head judge of the Olympia. Now Nick Walker also has to be one of the most impressive men's open bodybuilder right now. He isn't a tall guy, so that weight of 287 pounds is a lot for him. But what is even more impressive is how he is able to grow while maintaining that kind of condition. This new hands position while hitting the most muscular looks very good. So I am gonna put a comparison picture of him from his off-season from last year versus this year. Keep in mind the last year's picture is the peak off-season and his current off-season just started. Now from these pictures, in my opinion, his chest is the one area that he needs to bring up. And if you notice his upper chest, he has started to fill that gap. So how will these guys push for the conditioning to a point where he is as dry as he was at the Arnold? But without losing the fullness of his legs, that will be a crucial factor at this upcoming Mr. Olympia. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.